Greetings, everyone. We're at part two of Mega Man 5. And, uh, yeah, I'm feeling tired already. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, we have this robot master right here, Wave Man. Whoop dee doo. Okay, I admit, this game is bland. I mean, at this point, Capcom is pretty much releasing, um, one Mega Man game per year, on average. I mean, that was back in the, let's see, early 90s and such. I mean, Mega Man was pretty much their biggest hit at this point. I mean, there was no Street Fighter series that we know of yet. And the only other thing that Capcom had were licensing games from Disney. You know, um, uh, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, DuckTales, um, and uh, a bunch of uh, Mickey Mouse and uh, Donald Duck games. Uh, wait, did they have those yet? Uh, let's see, this came out in 93. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Super Nintendo was out by then, I believe. But, yeah. So, yeah, this was uh, Capcom's uh, biggest biggest gold mine. So, uh, <sighs> and I still say that Rush Coil looks weird. Okay, so uh, let's see what this Robot Master is about. Let's see. Wave Man, Wave Man, Wave Man. All right. <clears throat> Wave Man is an amphibious combat ro Robot Master created to invade and take control of the Water Quality Administration in this game. Armed with the Water Wave, Wave Man is capable of attacking by producing pressurized columns of water, which burst from the ground towards his opponent's positions. His offensive capabilities are augmented by the ability to launch razor-sharp harpoons from the buster on his right arm. But since these main means of attack are ranged, he tends to be more vulnerable when fought in close quarters. Unlike his predecessor, Bubble Man, however, Wave Man has good mobility both on land and when submerged in water. Ooh, you're dissing Bubble Man. But hey, Bubble Man is the pretty much the butt of the Robot Master jokes. Or <laughs> <All right. clears throat> Wave Man is known for being highly emotional and easily moved to tears. Um, okay. He's also prone to fits of anger during which he will fire his harpoons around violently until his rage subsides. Overall, he is an antisocial robot who is not easily approachable and would sooner take a walk by himself at the bottom of the ocean than engage other robots in conversation. Wave Man also hates Sludge, which only serves to fuel his temper even more. whoop the freaking do and oh look, a bike section. This is something different. I admit it is something different, something fun. I, I mean, they and they have this going on for it, huh? 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 Uh, too bad you cannot charge the bike and shoot super blasts. What the heck? This isn't Zelda. Why is there a robot Octorok here? How dare they bring? S ah. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, all we have to do is just shoot its uh, light blue area to get rid of it. Yay. Oh, and by the way, the letter of uh, this stage will appear in this section, and you have to be quick because it'll go by really fast. I mean, you're busy shooting Joes on the bikes and these uh, robot dolphins, and uh, yeah, you can miss it easily. No, yeah. Basically, when there are two uh, dolphins jumping, look out for the letter. Uh, right around... Here, in fact. See, there it is, and I got it. No problem. Yeah, these green Joes that are um, on these uh, water bikes, they mock the green biker dude. They are a mockery, because they're green and they are on bikes. Even though green biker dude has not existed yet, but it's, it's still a mockery to his name. Come on, remember green biker dude, everyone. But anyway, here we are, Wave Man stage. whoop dee freaking do And his weakness is Charge Kick, which I will not use because it is lame. I'm seriously. I, I, uh, I mean, even though it supposedly works, it, uh, still, these weapons, these weapons are lame. So I would just rather stick to the Mega Buster on this one. And his uh, pattern is uh, kind of easy to, um, well, uh, learn. And once you learn the pattern, he's pretty much uh, easy. You know, these water spouts here usually spout right underneath Mega Man, and for some reason, they don't spout to the very left or the or the very right for some reason. I don't know. But hey, again, once you get the pattern down, oh, he is going down. See? No problem. Ugh, so, another Robot Master down, yeah. Now, uh, speaking of letters, um, <sighs> yeah, I admit, I... 
forgot the one in Stone Man stage, so uh, don't worry, I will go back and get it. It may it may not be in this video, but pro I promise you, I will get that letter. <sighs> so anyway, let's move on to the next Robot Master. In weakness order, by the way, Starman. Ugh, Starman? Wait a second. Let's see Jeff Bridges in this. What? What? What is this? Ugh. Wait, Starman is played by Jeff Bridges, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm old. Ugh. Yeah, oh goody, we're in space. All right, let's talk about uh, Starman right quick. He is a robot master uh, created for space combat. He is a romanticist in that he enjoys watching opera and musicals. Because, uh, you know, space is all about the opera and or orchestral music, huh? 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 He dreams of traveling deep into the space with a lover. Okay, so uh, he's waiting for that right female uh, robot master, right? You know, that that one right... The one... Uh, I can't talk. The one right female robot master or maybe he uh, goes the other way I mean not to discriminate uh, uh, moving on <coughs> all right his weapon is the star crush which creates a star-shaped barrier around him for defense and can be thrown at enemies Okey -dokey <sighs> as you can see since we're we are in space we can jump high and look, there's the letter right there, right underneath some spikes. <laughs> spikes, 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 spikes. No, 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 no. Carefully jump up. Don't jump too high, or else you'll get hit with the spikes. Ah! <sighs> and of course, we have Mets with uh, jetpacks because um, uh, space, I guess. Yeah, because of space, we are dealing with uh, high jumping gravity because um. We have no true water level, as it were, because, um, well, we did have Wave Man stage, but we were not underwater. So, this will serve as the water graphics in uh, this game, I guess. Yeah. Space, huh? Well, Mega Man has been into space before. Need I remind you, Mega Man 3, he went to alien planets to stop the Robot Masters there? There? I mean, if it weren't for supplemental material and a wiki, I would never have found this out. I would have always suspected that Mega Man 3 took place on Earth, and, um, yeah. And since when did Proto Man employ uh, chicken walkers, huh? Is he a Star Wars fan or something? And of course, these mess surround me and violate my personal space. Ugh, get away from me. Leave me alone! Ugh. Of course, I decided to just run for it. I don't care if I take the hits as long as I have enough to survive. Run away, run away. Get away from me. All right. Now, this area right here, we have catapulting robots. And um, I know something will come out of the ground. So, I'm just waiting for the right time. See, these things. These uh, robo cone heads. Were they programmed by Dan Aykroyd or something? Ugh. Ugh. See? Gravity, huh? <sighs> okay. So, um, Mega Man 5, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the series has gotten kind of bland at this point. <sighs> I mean, seriously, um, let's see, I believe, yeah. Uh, there, what else is there to say about this at this point? And uh, here we are, Starman stage. Um, yeah, he's weak against us, um, Wave Man's weapon. But again, like uh, the last boss, I will not use that weapon because it requires the weapon to travel along the ground. And as you can see, Starman is hopping all around, and uh, yeah. So basically, stick with the Mega Buster. Just wait until he shoots his a Star Crush at you. You can dodge it and shoot the Mega Buster at him. Plus, you can reach him from all the way above. Now, even though Water the uh, Wave Man's weapon can penetrate the shield, I just still it's kind of lame. It requires him to be on the ground, and it's like, uh, whatever. But don't worry, folks. Um, later on, as I fight more of these Robot Masters, I will start using their weaknesses. I promise. 
It's just, I'm just illustrating right now how easy you can beat these guys with just the Mega Buster alone. I mean, as soon as you recognize their pattern, recognize uh, their techniques, they can be cakewalk. Even though I am getting hit, it's just because uh, I was tired, I was practicing before I re was recording this, and... Uh, <sighs> but anyway, one more hit and he's dead now. Oh, correction. One more hit and he's dead. Jeez, won't you die already? So basically, after this, we will get another shield item. Yay. And to be fair, this shield item is actually kind of useful. Um, and I will demonstrate why in a uh, future level. And this will not be the only item we will get this go around. What are we getting besides the Star Crush? Blah, 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 blah. Super Arrow. Da, 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 da. And Super Arrow does has its uses. I I will and I will show them off. Anyway, I will see you in uh, part three. Bye now.